Now we're live again. All right, can you hear me now? We good? We got video? We got sound? Cool. Okay. So, when we last were streaming, before the stream so rudely froze, we were trying out this X301. I have a Ubuntu live distro going off of a flash drive, which is sticking out a little more than I would like it to, but it's working, so. And I'm just testing how well it plays YouTube videos. So 720p was a bust. At 720p, it's just locked up and wouldn't do anything. At 480p, it streams just fine. This is a uh, YouTube. And there's one of the buses that replaced the T um, on this section. This video I have on my other channel, Sebi's Random Stuff. And this video I was um, taking the T into Pittsburgh. Uh, the T is uh, basically Pittsburgh's light rail system. Um, it evolved from the old streetcars of yesteryear, and there is a section that still runs on streets here, but it wasn't, but it isn't being used normally. But the uh, tunnel that normally goes into town was being worked on, so they have. Oh no, it's. Um, they were working on the tunnel that the the T normally takes, so they use this old streetcar line as a uh, bypass or a detour. Yeah, maybe it's because I'm watching a video. <laughs> yeah, it's it's lagging pretty badly. But yeah, so I just filmed this video because it's kind of cool. Maybe if I stop that. Is it better? Is it better? Maybe, sort of, whatever. But it plays YouTube, so that's cool. And um, track point works right out of the box. That's great. Um, close out of that. It's about all I'm going to do in this. I just wanted to see if this could connect to the internet on my school's internet, which it can, and that's good. Eventually, I'm going to get a drive for this, and then we will go from there. But I'm going to shut this thing down. Is this for 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second? I don't know. My camera supports 60 frames per second, but it might limit itself to 30 for YouTube videos or for streaming. I'm not sure. But, like, look at this thing. This thing is beautiful. I really can't wait to do more with this X301. It is such a nice laptop. And I can see the stream lagging again. <sighs> look, at this is a nice computer. I really wish those still had something like this. Ah, uh, it's lagging again. Stop lagging. Stupid lag. Uh, yes, it's version 18.04. That was what was on the website. So that's the version I installed. Okay, so. What do you guys want to see? What do you, like, I, I can, we can do whatever we want here. I mean, the stream's very laggy, and that sucks. Um, if it stops acting up, we can do some other fun stuff. I'm gonna, I can show you some cool stuff. If the stream keeps lagging, then I might just call it a night. Um, and we only have about it a third as many people on this stream as we had on the other stream. So I'm not really concerned about, um, could you show your ThinkPad collection? 
My ThinkPad collection is continually evolving and changing. Uh, the X230 I have, has, it's one of the only ones that has remained consistent. Um, and I will be selling that most likely. Somebody from the last live stream actually sent me an email about that. Um, do I also use a ThinkPad to stream this one? No, I'm actually streaming this from my phone. Um, I probably could get better results if I hooked a camera up to a laptop and then um, streamed that way, but this was just quick and easy. So my current ThinkPad collection, I have the X230 tablet here, which we were working on in the last live stream. Nice little machine. We have this T440P NVIDIA graphics card, 9-cell battery, that's a project computer. We have the X301, which we were just looking at, seeing how it could handle YouTube, and that worked pretty nicely. So I'm very pleased with that. We have my non-tablet X230, which I will likely be selling, and I also have the Ultra Base for it, which adds an optical drive bay, and add some extra ports on the back, and I can't hold this. I apologize for the lagginess. I can't do much about that. It's just the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. I have a T430S here, which I was showing briefly in the last stream. This was another recent acquisition. Has the backlit keyboard. Overall in very good shape, just needs to be cleaned. Get a battery and SSD in there and install Windows. Um, underneath my scripts and medicine from when I was sick and my headphones and all this other crap. Hello? There we go. There we go. And nothing fell over. We have a T520. This is the $5 ThinkPad that I will be showing in my next video. I bought this for $5 at a flea market. Completely working. The only thing was that it needed a hard drive. So um, I'm doing a video on this right now. Uh, where I just put a hard drive in and installed Windows, and that's it. <laughs> um, I'm just seeing how well I can use it without any um, upgrades. So the only thing I did was install a hard drive, clean this up a little bit, and repasted the processor and graphics, part, graphics card. This does have a dedicated graphics card in it. It has a 1600 by 1200 display. Um, I'm not a big fan of the X1 Carbons. Um, Ger Gerald, is that your name? Gerald? Gerald. Um, I'm not a big fan of the X1 lineup. I just think it's Lenovo's answer to the MacBook, which is what the X300 and X301 were. But the X300 and X301 still had good keyboards. They still had an optical drive and upgradable RAM. The X1, with the exception of the X1 Extreme, they've never had upgradable RAM, never had an optical drive, always had chiclet keyboards. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited to be doing a video on this. Um, it has a 1600 by 900 screen. I thought it had the full HD screen because the colors in contrast are actually really good on it. But no, it's actually 1600 by 900 screen. So props to Lenovo for not having a completely junk display on, on the T520. And it has a um, classic keyboard. Horrible lag. I apologize for the really bad lag. University is probably like, we don't want this guy live streaming at 3 a.m., so we're going to completely buffer his internet or throttle his internet. Um, underneath this crazy mess of paperwork and laptops and scripts, I have a 2503 docking station, 
For those of you who don't know, that is the ThinkPad Advanced Docking Station that works with the T60, T61, T400, T500, and W500, and it has a built-in PCI Express slot for the GPU, for a GPU. You can put a desktop GPU or a desktop expansion card in there, which is really cool, and I really want to make a video about it at some point. Um... In here, just pulling things out of drawers, I have a 15-inch, God, that's laggy. I have a 15-inch widescreen T60. Um, this was sent to me by somebody just because he's like, I don't need it, you want it? And I said, yeah, of course I want it, it's a ThinkPad. And he sent it to me. This is a T60P. Has a... I think the ATI Fire GL something in it, graphics card, I think it has like 256 megabytes of VRAM. Core 2 Duo T7200 processor, I think. Um, it's a ThinkPad. <laughs> That's all there is to say. It has very tight hinges, like, this was not used very much, like, these hinges are still very, very tight. And that's really cool. Um, now I'm going to have to go and get stuff. And then another recent acquisition, which some of you may have seen on my community post. i move. This is a ThinkPad Z61M. This is... One of the very rare instances of a ThinkPad not having a matte black finish. This was also, the Z60 series was also, they were among the first, they were not the first, but they were among the first ThinkPads to be released by Lenovo. And these were also the first ThinkPads to use widescreen displays. Um, and it's very similar to the internals of a T60 in terms of the architecture and the performance. Has the same keyboard as a T60. Same I.O., it actually has more I.O. than a T60. In addition to having all the standard I.O. as a T60, it also has a Firewire port and an SD card reader and an S-video output, which the T60 does not have. But yeah, it has titanium lid, which is really cool. The battery on it is completely dead, so I'm going to have to replace it. It's a very similar battery to what the T60 uses, but the T60 battery I have would not fit. I'm using Mac OS, that's pretty cool. Um, and actually, and the, Z6, and the Z61 also came with the docking station, so that was cool. Here's a non-ThinkPad, this is the HP ProBook I was showing earlier. It's a 640 Generation 1. Very similar to the T440p in terms of performance and upgradability and display options. The keyboard is eh. I will give them credit for having actual touchpad buttons as opposed to the T440P's clunk pad. It also has a separate wireless switch button. Microphone mute as well. And it has indicator LEDs for hard drive power, charging, and um, wireless. So, actually has one advantage over the T440P. And I'll be showing this in a future video, so stay tuned, guys. <laughs> so with that, and what am I missing? I think the only other laptop I have to show is a non-traditional laptop in the ThinkPad community, because it's not a ThinkPad. It's a MacBook A1181, early 2008. This was my main computer for about five years. I got this in 2012. My neighbor was upgrading to a MacBook Pro. Didn't need this. Um, at the time, I think I was like 13-ish, give or take. But yeah, so she gave this laptop to me. And as a 13-year-old who 
didn't have a laptop, this was a welcome thing to have. And it served me well for five years. I had Mac OS 10.6.8 Snow Leopard on it. It has four gigs of RAM, some Core 2 Duo. Yeah, it's a nice little machine back when Apple laptops had user replaceable batteries and were somewhat upgradable. I am thinking of doing something with this. I am looking into patching macOS El Capitan to run on here because the current limit to what OS I can put on here is 10.7.5, which is completely obsolete. Um, I'd like to have some use for it. It's a nice computer, but I'm also looking into Hackintoshing the T440P that I have, which would make doing anything to this kind of moot. The battery still holds a charge. Um, right now it's almost dead because I haven't had it plugged in forever, but the battery does still hold a charge. But I am looking into doing something with this in the future. Don't know when. Like, I have so many videos planned, so many video ideas, but I just don't have time to make all of them because I'm busy with school. What got you into ThinkPad anyways? Um, oh, the newest laptop I have that's a ThinkPad, by the way, is this T440P at the moment, but that's always changing. Um, the reason I got into ThinkPads was, so be hmm. before I got the MacBook, before I got that MacBook, my sister had a laptop. When she was going into high school, she, bought a, or my parents bought her a laptop. They bought one used from a computer repair store and it was an IBM ThinkPad R51. And I used it from time to time whenever I couldn't use my parents' computer. And when my sister graduated from high school and went to college, she got a MacBook Air and she gave me her old laptop. So she gave me this IBM ThinkPad R51. And if you look back at some of my videos about four years ago, I have a few videos about the R51. I fixed it up. It was giving a fan error, and that ended up just being the fan got stuck on something. It worked perfectly fine after that. I gave it some upgrades. I installed Windows XP on there, did a ton of other stuff to it, made some videos about it, and I fell in love with ThinkPads. It had an excellent keyboard. It had the track point. It was very serviceable and upgradable. And then I started looking into newer laptops because my MacBook, uh, 